We've ordered uh, another 72 aircraft from Airbus, uh, taking the total order that we have with Airbus to 92. The aircraft we've ordered are 72, are very efficient and reduced the fuel burn uh, cost by approximately 15% uh, and reduced the seat cost by approximately 11%. We have a long-term view on the airline business in India. We find it to be a, a, a very positive outlook. We find it to be a huge opportunity. Um, the reason for this opportunity is that uh, India is, uh, is at a very young stage when it comes to the amount of seats that are sold or when it comes to the number of aircraft that India has flying commercially uh, in its skies. Let's do some comparisons. India has approximately 350 aircraft flying versus China's 1100. India has 350 aircraft versus uh, an airline in, in America called Southwest, which has 700 aircraft. If you take a conservative view of all the aircraft that have been purchased by Indian Airlines as of date, including our new announcement of uh, 72 taking it to 92, we would not see in India uh, more than 700 aircraft in the year 2020. We have had uh, some very uh, interesting performance uh, over the last three years, over the last one year. Uh, you know, we, grow, we grew in, over the last three years 257% in terms of seats sold. Uh, over the last uh, one year, we grew close to 40%. And uh, year on year, we've been growing 20%. As far as our financial parameters are concerned, our EBITDA is more than 15% uh, for the last fiscal. And as a result, a combination with the opportunity, i.e. the underserved market uh, of uh, Indian aviation, coupled with the performance of the business vis-a-vis uh, -vis the industry, we decided to basically uh, you know, focus on our long-term plans, Vision 2020. We have no uh, uh, aspir aspirations as of right now. We don't find it an opportunity. We find the Indian market an opportunity.